Happy Wednesday. We made it. We're halfway through the week. Let me just say this down. Say it to myself. It's Wellness Wednesday. And today I have an awesome, awesome breath exercise for us to do together. Um, this one's probably going to be best done. I personally do it when I'm driving. I don't want people to do it while they're driving. If this is your first time doing breath exercises, um, just because it does take time and it can make you kind of feel hot, lightheaded, um, you know, that woo feeling. It's amazing. It's an amazing practice. This one has nothing to do with your nostrils. It only has to do with your mouth breath. And that's why I feel it gives you that lightheadedness. But honestly, it helps take away your stress. It brings you to the now. And it's been working for me. I've been doing this consistently for the last two weeks, any time of the day that I have felt like I have needed it. Mainly, I've yesterday I only did it once. I only felt the need to do it once, and it was in mid-afternoon. Um, I have not been dealing with the time change very well, like we talked about in Monday uh, motivation. So I'm just, you know, anything helps. Breath work can help with a lot of things. One of the main things it helps me with is stress control, keeping it under, under, keep my stress levels down. Um, anxiety, it helps me to minimize an anxiety, um, even an anxiety attack. When I can focus in on the fact that I'm going to have an anxiety attack, which is just part of being conscious and um, aware, I am telling myself, okay, why are we having this attack? What is going on? I start slowly breathing because during anxiety, you tend to either stop breathing, I do, or you over breathe. <laughs> Breath of fire is not good for when you're having an anxiety attack. It, it amplifies it. So this one, I just like to call it breath of life and let me explain why. It's kind of reminiscent of the breath our mothers gave while they were pushing us out into this world. I feel that is an amazing thing that they teach you breath work when you're going through uh, giving birth because it helps you focus, it helps you work through pain. It's really an amazing, amazing tool. So without further ado, let's get going into this breath work. I'm going to explain a little bit. We are going to do um, three sets of four types of, well, three sets of four breaths. So we are only going to breathe in through our mouth and out through our mouth. When we are inhaling, I'm going to actually sit up and try to show you. When we are inhaling, we are pushing out our belly. So make sure you're sitting in a, and then we're going to crunch in and ex expand, um, exert all of the air. So I may look funny doing this. I really don't care because I want to help you guys get this um, because it's such a helpful breath. Um, so we're going to do that three times. And then on the fourth breath, we are going to hold it at the top and then breathe out. So Let's just begin, and it's a video, so you can always replay it if you didn't get it right the first time, or if you wanna watch it before you actually do it, that's helpful too. So let's go, everyone. We'll start with a slow breath real quick, just to ground us. Make sure you're in a seated position, something comfortable, somewhere comfortable. Make sure you're wearing something comfortable. Sometimes we're not, don't even worry about that. Okay. Nice deep breath in through the nostrils and out through the mouth. We are here, our feet are planted to the ground, our butts are planted to the ground. We are grounded in Mama Earth. One more inhale through the nose, out through the mouth. And we're going to begin. You can focus on something if you want, or you can keep your eyes closed or lightly open. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, so let's just go. Remember, breathe in deeply through the mouth and out through the mouth, and we're going to begin. Let's 
next one we're gonna hold. Push the bellies out, keep holding. And that was the first set. We're gonna do another set starting now because it'll be easier since we've already done it. Ready, begin. Arching the back. Like a mad cat, we're arching out now. was our second set. I don't know if I did three or four. Either way, we can, we're going to do four on the next one. I, I lost count. As I can tell, I am definitely becoming centered. I hope that everyone else is following along and finding this easy. I decided to film it so you could just see what I do when I'm sitting. I really don't, like I said, I don't care what I look like while I'm doing it. I care that I'm doing the practice. So let's uh, do our last set. Ready? Begin. Last one, we're gonna hold a little longer. You might feel a little lightheaded. You might need some time to come back down to center. Always begin with a light inhale through the nose and a light exhale through the mouth if you need to become grounded put your hands to the ground i've taught you guys that before that helps put your hand over your heart put your right hand over your heart and your left hand over your belly and nostril inhale and exhale that helps you become grounded remember and remember it reminds yourself who you are and where you are I enjoy breath work. I find it very healing. There is no limit to what I'm learning with breath work and it just keeps expanding my consciousness. It keeps expanding my soul. It is helping my healing process so much better and that is what I'm here for, to help you guys in your healing processes. And um, if you've been getting my newsletters or reading my Instagram and Facebook, I will be doing Meditating Mamas every Sunday um at right now it's at four we're gonna see how it goes with the time change it might move up a little earlier and then in the new year we will talk about like expanding that and making more days for it and whatnot but right now it's just going to be every sunday if you would like a meditation facilitated at your workspace or at a um, gathering that you are throwing please dm me or email me i would be more than happy to be that facilitator for you and um, those are really amazing events and um, they're super healing to do as a group. So I hope that this finds you well. I know that it has because you guys are all beautiful, expanded souls and you are on a healing journey. I love you all and have a great week.